Hi friends, this is Julie with Julia Seta's Journey on my 47th birthday weekend getaway. I decided to come to the beach. Surprise, surprise. Uh, I am at Krabi, which is South Thailand, and I'm at Raleigh Beach. It was recommended to me by a friend from work. Um, I really had no idea uh, what I was going to do, where I was gonna go, so I booked last week flew, um, stayed on the mainland last night because I got in late last night. Um, it was my first city to city flight in Thailand. So that was really, really exciting. I'm glad that Bangkok <laughs> speaks English and there's signs in English. So that kind of helped me a lot. Then I arrived last night, um, found like a shuttle service um, in the airport and I got into a shuttle, a van-like shuttle with some other uh, passengers and went to my room last night, stayed there just the night, woke up this morning and was like, where the heck is Krabi located on the map? I had no idea where it was. So I had to Google it. It is in South Thailand and in just a few minutes, I will be swimming in the Indian Ocean. A first for me, so that's pretty exciting. I do want to, um, oh, so then after uh, this morning I woke up, I Googled where I was. I said, you know, I need to eat breakfast. Again, not knowing where to do or where to go, I just decided to walk around and figure it out. So luckily I did find a, uh, a visitor center and I walk into the visitor center and they don't speak English. The lady had to call another woman to come and talk to me in English. Um, my Thai wasn't going very well, her English wasn't going very well, so another lady came and I said, I want a Western breakfast. So she said, you want to get on my bike and I'll take you? And I'm like, sure. So I literally got on a bike with someone and she drove me to uh, get an all-American breakfast. And I will be posting, I, I did post pictures on Facebook and Instagram with Julia Seta's journey about my breakfast. It was delicious. I had like tears in my eyes as I was eating the breakfast. So then after breakfast, I got on another motorbike from a taxi motorbike gentleman. And I said, um, I have to go back to my hotel, pick up my bag, and then I have to go to Raleigh Beach. Well, the only way to get to the beach is by a boat. There are no cars even over here at all. So he said, okay, okay. So I went back and I got my bag and hopped on his bike. He drove me about 20, 25 minutes um, to the boat area again. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing, but I do trust the process. And I do believe that God and the universe have my back and I, I will be so okay. And just the ride, that 20 minute ride and the scenery was just, it was breathtaking. And I'm gonna show you some of it right now. But before I do, I want um, to tell you that I will also be making a video on some uh, sad and not so beautiful and disheartening parts of this beach. COVID-19 um, really put a strain on the economy, but I'm, start, I'm starting to get emotional and I can feel it now. So I'll make a separate video of that. But I do want you to know that that will be coming. Um, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have so many pictures to share with you guys and sh shorter video clips. Um, it is extremely hot. We are in our rainy season in Thailand, but it is really hot today. So I'm going to show you just what I'm seeing right now. Mangroves. Just beautiful. These are the boats that take you from and to the mainland. It is not busy here at all. And when I make the other video, um, I'll show you what I mean. But just a beautiful, spectacular, peaceful, serene, gorgeous, gorgeous nature. The hotel that I'm staying at is literally on the side of a mountain and I have to climb up like these super steep stairs, steps to get up to the tippity top. Um, this is just absolutely incredible. So. Do you see these little caverns? Yeah, I decided to go in them because of course I want to see and I want to, you know, know what's in there. So I did, 
I went into this one and you're going to be going in there with me as well. Those are my stuff. But look at how the shells are just embedded into the rock and the water leaking from the limestone rocks that have formed these giant, giant mountains. It is just so, so beautiful. It's just, it really is gorgeous. Some of it you can tell is weathered and it's smooth. Um, check out that piece of rock just hanging there. Some of it is very rough and bumpy. It's just, it, I'm really grateful and fortunate to be here to experience this. Okay, so we are going into this little cave opening that I wanted to explore. So <laughs> I have to like crouch down to get in it. Oh my goodness gracious. And here it is. I'm gonna slowly, it's dark obviously, um, move the camp and I'm gonna come in and I'll stand all the way up. But check out how cool this is and like I said this mountain made out of these rocks um, there's little caves like this all around and this is the one that I just happened to go into well I did go into another one but it wasn't as cool as this one and then here's an opening There's just nothing, there's just a hollow part. I had my flashlight and I did take a look. But so cool. I will be finding the beach very soon and swimming in the Indian Ocean. Okay, so look, there's water leaking, forming this rock and it's leaking to form this rock. No, 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 I'm sorry, to form this rock. That is so cool. Okay, now I've got to crouch back down to get out. So here we go. We're crouching down. We're getting out. Oh. Okay. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. Thank you for being on this journey with me. Thank you for celebrating my 47th birthday with me. I did get a lot of beautiful and lovely messages. Um, it... it <laughs> It was really sweet of you. Thank you very much. So here I go. I'm going to find a lagoon. I hear that there's a lagoon here. I'm going to find the beach. I'm going to go swimming tomorrow. I've already booked a tour where I'll be going on boat to four different islands and um, more experiences and more journeys and more adventures to share with you. Thank you so much for following me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for everything you've done and given me. Um, see you next time. Love to all.